<laughs> What's good, gang? We back. Hey, man. And Miller and T, man. We on, we on one today. You feel me? So, look. <laughs> feeling real. You know what I'm saying? But, nah, seriously, look. Under the Jimmy Carr videos, you guys have been saying, no, no, y'all got to check out Frankie Boyle. Baby, they say he's worse. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 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 But the video that we're doing is him annihilating the audience. Remember the one we watched? Oh, with yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is him annihilating the audience. Let's see how bad it gets. So this is our first Frankie Boyle video. I, I, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Let rock and roll, man. Let rock and roll, this way. What about you, man? That's a rather strange fucking injury you've developed there. What happened to you? Burnt myself. You burnt yourself? <laughs> that sounded awfully deliberate there. You know what I mean? Burnt myself. How did you burn yourself? I got burnt at work, Frank. You got burnt? Now you fucking changed your story. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know this accent. But, and please correct me if I'm... I... Fu- correct me if I'm wrong. I'm a, I'm a big Guy Ritchie fan. Not lock, stock, and two barrels. Um, oh my God, I'm having a brain fart. Guy Ritchie movie, Snatch. Fucking Pikey. I hate fucking Pikey's. Are Does he have the accent that Brad Pitt and them had in <laughs> Snatch, the bare knuckle boxing? What accent was that? What is that? It's a fucking Pikey. I don't know what a fucking Pikey is. It's a fucking Pikey. That's all they kept saying. I hate fucking parkies. So I don't know. They're gypsies. But I don't know. I want to say what I think it is. But I don't think it's that. I don't think. I, I think that's the accent. Because the way he said deliberate. Do you think it's, it's like. It's Irish, right? You just going to tell my answer. I might be wrong. <laughs> fuck, we might. We wrong as fuck. We, we, we we'll learn shit over here. That sounded awfully deliberate there. You know what I mean? Burnt myself. How did you burn yourself? I got burnt at work, Frankie. You got burnt? Now you fucking changed your story. <laughs> fucking one call to those fucking no fees lawyers and suddenly you got burnt at work. <laughs> a minute ago you burnt yourself. <laughs> You're gonna fucking fold in the witness box like a red hot Mars bar. <laughs> what happened to you? Um, I work for a company that makes a lot of hot shit and uh... You work for a company that makes a lot of hot shit? <laughs> I can see this starting to come together like the start of an episode of Casualty, isn't it? <laughs> How do you put your elbow in something hot? I just kind of brushed against it and I was fucked. I just brushed against it and I was fucked. <laughs> it's a lovely understatement to Scottish people, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't really get us in those kind of 999 rescue shows that America has, you know what I mean? I was driving along and I just kind of fucked the car into a tree. I ended up fucked, the car was fucked, the uh, tree was fucked. Uh, thank God there was no hot shit around. I just jumped out and rammed my fucking elbow into it like a man. How are you doing, wee boys? A fucking wee boy with a receding hairline. How are you doing, Benjamin Button? <laughs> You've been hit with a death ray or something? What are you, are you a wee boy? Are you a fucking sort of fresh-faced old man? What the fuck are you? The wee boy? Is this your parents? Fucking hell, you brought... You brought two... Don't worry. Your mum knows you wank. <laughs> your mum wanks too. Sometimes your mum wanks your dad. Oh, right. Front row. Front row. The only thing they don't know is that you wank thinking about your mum wanking your dad. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it. There it goes. I'm watching like it's not that bad. It's not that bad. 
Wank, you wank, mom wanks. We all wank. But you're you're wanking off to your mom. Wanking your dad. Mm. Yep. Mm. Yep. You mother. Yep. You motherfuckers. Well, hello, Hackney. I had to be look around Hackney today. Looks like a fucking holding pen for the Jeremy Kyle show. How you doing, little fella? You've made a fucking effort. Looks like someone shaved a monkey and kicked it through Top Man. You know what Top Man is? Hold on, hold on. Let me make sure I ain't. I ain't. Looks like someone shaved a monkey and kicked it through Top Man. Yep. All right, so Top Man is like the H&M of over there. And remember, they opened one in Lenox, and it didn't do well, and they closed it real quick. It was next to Victoria's Secrets downstairs. It's like one of those, and he had on the graphic T-shirt and all of that. Little fella, you've made a fucking effort. <laughs> Looks like someone <laughs> shaved a monkey and kicked it through Top Man. <laughs> You've gone for it with the hair here, haven't you? You look like a moderately powerful Pokemon. Why is he a giant version of you? The fucking Russian dolls there. How you doing, big fella? How's life been since you played Mongo in the Blazing Saddles movie? What'd you do, big man? IT. IT. And you said that in a sort of, and my soul is dying. Every time I sit in front of the computer screen. <laughs> what about you, Frodo? What's your story? <laughs> I don't know you, Frodo. Because you look like you've had your ring destroyed. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, man? Photographer. You're a what? Photographer. You're a photographer? You're a trainee paedophile, sir. <laughs> you got Scottish people? <laughs> I love that cheer Scottish people do when they think there's a lot more Scottish people in. Yeah, oh, we're surrounded. <laughs> Where are you from, Scottish people? Oh, so fucking. Oh, Paisley, he's, he's top you in shit town, top trunks there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we've had a higher bid. <laughs> What's brought you down from Paisley? Drop. A raft made from turnips. <laughs> Although I quite liked your answer. Drugs. <laughs> I suspect that's your answer to a lot of questions. <laughs> what time is it? Drugs! <laughs> Fife? Who's from Fife? The Kingdom of Fife. <laughs> Whereabouts in Fife are you from? Kirkcaldy. Kirkcaldy. I'll have to explain this to them now. <laughs> Basically, Kirkcaldy, the town's pride took a bit of a knock recently when they found out that the people of Ethiopia were holding a rock concert for them. <laughs> so what are you doing in London? Working. Working. There's a doer Scottish answer. You're just going to bleed the information out gradually, aren't you? A fucking human riddle from Kirkcaldy. My first is in Windmill, but not in Canal. I work, but what do I work at? Guess again. <laughs> what do you work at? Consultant. <laughs> consultant. Do you want to go any deeper into the explanation or are we just... Management consulting. Management consulting. What are they managing? Not very much. Are they managing to find you quite an annoying cunt? <laughs> hey man, what do you do? You're a stockbroker. What about you, man? You're a plumber. Fantastic. How do you know him? Plumbers and stockbrokers. Friends? What the fuck do you talk about? <laughs> oh yeah, I made, made quite a bit of money uh, short selling on uh, Nike today. Yeah, really? I broke up a big jobby in a toilet. <laughs> As a jobby? How you doing, <laughs> fucking gigantor? You alright, man? <laughs> this guy, you're just fucking looking at me like I'm a big sausage holding a microphone, aren't you? <laughs> How you doing, big fella? What's your role in life? You're a lawyer? Fucking hell. What type of law? Property. Property law. Could you be more worthless? It's not often I'll say this. Not often I'll say this. 
but you should stick your face in a meat grinder and go and live in the woods. <laughs> I don't mean this to sound horrible, I really don't. But I could watch you being raped and not feel a flicker of emotion. That's not true, I'd be angry they weren't killing him. Hello, Glasgow. How you doing, me man? Are you a weird looking straight guy or a really weird looking gay guy? <laughs> I'd come on your face just to cover it up. How much you pay me? How much did I pay you? That was your fucking effort, was it? <laughs> when your mum gave birth, she shat you out so she could leave her pussy free for fucking the doctors. like that. Jeez. Look, well, you're getting a fucking hard time for getting your phone out, you dozy cunt. <laughs> Where you from? Any idea? Just looking up at me like your fucking cat started talking. <laughs> you got a blind face there, pal. If you held that expression for long enough in a hospital, you get fucking switched off. <laughs> from Belfast. I've heard a bit about Belfast. Apparently you have some religious worries over there. We... We don't really take any opinion of it. It's none of our business, to be honest. <laughs> what brought you over? The ferry? <laughs> you working here? No, on the brew. On the brew? <laughs> Listen to how popular that's made you in the room there. Fucking 400 years on, Irish immigration still a fucking issue for these people. <laughs> I'll give you a job, man, because we might need to fight our way out of this fucking thing at the end, okay? <laughs> Is that your girlfriend? You're doing fucking well for yourself, man. <laughs> but her parents just wish that you'd hurry up and murder her so they could grieve properly. <laughs> Tears every time they see Shrek. <laughs> so it's two empty seats right in the middle. This is supposed to be sold out. Where are they? I hope they're dead in a fucking car crash. <laughs> this man dissing motherfuckers that's not, not even, even there. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I'm rocking with him. <laughs> <laughs> And what are you guys here in your fucking waistcoats and your suits and... I mean, don't answer cunts, cos I can fucking see that. <laughs> you doing fucking jumping about Glasgow in a fucking morning coat with a side pattern? <laughs> I once had people shouting me in this city from a moving car for wearing gloves. <laughs> gloves, you prick. <laughs> it's winter. <laughs> Fucking hell, are you on some kind of poverty safari? <laughs> Who are you? Where are you from? Uh, Glasgow. You're from Glasgow? <laughs> Where the fuck abouts are you? <laughs> Where the fuck have you not been picked off? <laughs> what do you do? Hey, Inside your, you're, Pollock. From, you're from Pollock? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> have you quantum leaped here from an alternative Pollock? <laughs> I got to a stage now where people come up and talk to me in the street and I fucking hate people. <laughs> Arseholes are attracted to me in the same way that a store detective is attracted to a 2002 Celtic away top. <laughs> people come up to me and they say, Frankie, what should I do if an ex-girlfriend phones me up and tells me that she's HIV positive? <laughs> and I say, the trick is to always act surprised. <laughs> Shall I tell you why I'm late, what I'm like, Johnny? Oh, he just hit you. <laughs> <laughs> I get you it. You just got it. To act surprised because he gave it to her. Bruh. Uh. <laughs> I think I can explain myself to you. When I was a wee boy, my granddad 
used to take me up into the loft. <laughs> I'd take down a chest they had up there. He'd open up the chest. Do you know what was in it? A mermaid. <laughs> and he'd have me strip naked as a wee boy and make love to that mermaid on the floor while he watched for his sexual gratification. <laughs> now, years later, when the old bastard was dead, I went back up into the loft. I took down the chest and opened up. Do you know what I found in there? A dead monkey with its legs sewn together. You remind me of that monkey, Johnny. How do you come up with that joke? Who says, yeah, I got this joke I'm working on, man. It got to do with an attic. Or a basement, was it? And man, it's this basement, and like it's a mermaid in here, man. And my granddaddy made me fuck the mermaid. While he watches. While he watches, and then later on you find out it was a monkey with his legs. Up. He ha he just made that up right there. He made that up right there on stage. Frankie Boyle. That was our first time. And that was my first time even hearing about Frankie Boyle. So that was our first time ever seeing him, period. Send the Frankie Boyle clips, man. He wasn't as bad as Jimmy. He was yeah. he was more he was he was more mean. He was meaner. Definitely like. meaner, but even though I know it's just jokes. But yeah, 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 yeah. Like, comment, share man, and subscribe. Until the next Frankie Boyle reaction. Get out of here. Peace.